Hello again, I am Jim Bob. Welcome back to Fed Farm. And we're getting an early start because, as you can see, the weather is against us. We are going to have rain today and we do need to do some harvesting. So, first things first, we're going to jump in to our little uh, 300 Vario here, our little 313. I'm going to drop the weight off. And uh, we are going to, very quickly, before we do anything else, clear up after our animals. Just uh, give them a nice sort of... Uh, scooping around their feed areas so uh, let's grab our bucket so we've got plenty of grass on the floor here waiting to be collected just put the lights on so we can see a little bit easier I'm going to try and scoop all of this up A little bit left. There we go. So we'll dump this in the trough and then we'll go and do the same with our sheep. And then once that's done, we'll go and uh, grab our combine and we'll get our harvest started. We've got plenty of fields to do, uh, including our brand new field that we purchased uh, quite recently. Uh, field 25. Well, we have uh, a crop of soybean on there that's fully fertilised but uh, doesn't utilise the full borders of the field because of the way the AI planted it and also is going to need ploughing once we're done. So uh, a slightly reduced yield from the maximum sort of potential on that field but we still get a nice little boost to our soybean on that one there. Wait for the gate to open, there we go. just uh, scoop up this grass here you can see our troughs are actually starting to get a little bit low so we're going to have to probably uh, top them up at some point there we go so that's our uh, sheep and our cows taken care of they've got enough food to last them a little while longer we don't have to worry about uh, dealing with them today So we do have uh, quite a lot of harvesting to get done, so uh, we need to sort of jump on with that as quick as we can. So uh, let's park this up. We'll leave this uh, with the bucket attached because we will no doubt have to do uh, another little sort of tidy up like this at the end of the day. So there we go. Lights off, engine off, and we are done. So uh, let's jump over to here. Actually, we're in the Fenton Harvester. That's what we need. And we may as well get started on the field that's right behind us. So, uh, let's see if I can actually get this out without uh, getting caught up like I did last time. There we go. I'm not going to make the turn. <laughs> All right, so combine is uh, is out. Uh, needs a refuel, uh, so we'll uh, stop here and give that a quick uh, top up. And while we're doing that, uh, we're going to need to obviously transport grain, and we're going to use the Black Beauty for this today, I think. Let's go collect our trailers. There they are waiting for us. And we're going to start with our canola here on uh, field 13. So we've got to go this way because obviously the combine is blocking the other route go and let's just grab our eggs as well so, uh, let's see make sure we grab all of these I'm gonna have a big egg sale coming up pretty soon <laughs> I'm gonna be selling 
you know, over 100 eggs. You know, we've got 130, I think, or so in our backpack at the moment. Maybe a little bit more. Uh, we're going to sell those all off in one go and get hardly any money for them. <laughs> Oops. So I have to take a nice wide turn here. There we go. And then just park up along the back here just to get us uh, sort of on the field. Our combine should be almost done. It is. Again, I'm going to have to be really careful pulling this header through here. There we go. And the next question is, can we actually get the header off without it being stuck on the frame? As is so often the case with this Fenton Harvester. Okay, let's uh, give that a go. Hopefully, it'll be all right. Yep, we're fine. That's good. So, we're going to do uh, a headland. And then once the headland's done, we'll uh, let the AI take over. Uh, but we'll, we'll do the headland ourselves. <coughs> just around the edge of the field. Uh, this is uh, just to give us a little bit more turning space at the end of each uh, pass, so it should hopefully make uh, uh, turning operation a little bit faster for the AI. And while we're doing this, let's just recap what uh, you know what mods went live yesterday. So we had uh, the forage and chip silo go recent uh, go live. I think Wednesday, I think it was, and uh, this is a really nice little uh, silo. It's Quite a big sized uh, placeable. Uh, not that expensive. I think it's only like 25 grand. Uh, holds, uh, I think, 500,000 litres. <coughs> so it's got a large capacity. And it'll hold uh, grass, straw, hay, and wood chips, and uh, silage as well. But it won't hold TMR, which is slightly disappointing. It will hold everything. Um, you know, all the raw ingredients, but it won't hold TMR itself. Uh, not an issue on this map, because obviously the silo on this map does hold TMR, and we have, you know, uh, around 45,000 litres, I think it is, currently, uh, top, uh, even maybe even more than that, tucked away in storage inside our main silo. Um, but it's another really useful uh, mod. We're getting a whole flurry of uh, little useful placeables at the moment. Uh, so, uh, it's something that will really allow you to condense all of those different buildings that you've been using in the past to store all your loose materials and also does away for the need to have a lot of bales stored everywhere you can now have as i say 500,000 liters of uh, your grass your hay your straw and even your silage as well and then you can just take those in uh, in sections as you need them to make your tmr uh, and being a placeable mod means you can put it wherever you want. So you can stick it really close to an animal enclosure and have all of those materials right on hand. Uh, so that's a really, really nice little mod. Great to see that we're getting uh, something like that to go with the uh, more, re you know, the grain silo that we had uh, a few, you know, about a week or two ago. And uh, also we've got some more placeable stuff coming up as well. And obviously we've had the mill as a sell point as well. We really are starting to get quite a few uh, really really useful uh, place walls when it comes to custom building your own farm and then yesterday we had the McHale bale wrapper from CD models go live uh, this is a round bale wrapper uh, very similar to the Ursus one that we get in the game I think it's Ursus no not Ursus let's just check the brand on that uh, I've actually got it installed uh, so you can see it as well um, oh yeah it was Ursus look that's the Ursus bale wrapper there uh, and the McHale bale wrapper is actually oh it's not installed i thought i had installed it um uh, very similar kind of size it's a small pull behind bale wrapper uh, the console version is supposed to have i think choices of colors although i haven't used it yet so i can't verify that uh, but it definitely has a choice of col wrap colors on pc and i, I know that, that was something that uh, brian from cd models was hoping to be able to put onto onto console as well 
Uh, that's a nice little mod. And what else did we have go live yesterday? Uh, we had an update for Pacific Logging, uh, which has kind of fixed the swamp areas a little bit, added uh, a little bit more height, and also made all the trees in there cuttable by chainsaw. Uh, I'm guessing they weren't previously. I haven't really done a lot on Pacific Logging. So... Uh, that's that. But yeah, that's Pacific Inlet Logging getting an update. And there was one other mod. Oh yes, we had the Spotlight Pack as well. The powerful Spotlights. These are uh, individual placeables that uh, are basically just Spotlight Towers that you can set up. Uh, they're not portable like the uh, the tow behind trailer. Uh, they are sort of fixed placeables. So once you put them down, that's pretty much it. Uh, but uh, they have two different sorts, a medium height and a high height. Uh, so again, it allows you to create uh, a nice floodlit yard area on your farm if you wanted to do something like that. And that's all the mods that we have so far. In other mod news, uh, West Coast obviously failed testing again. And uh, Giants have actually got someone from their team helping Bullet Bill go through some of the error logs now to try and uh, speed up the uh, sort of bug fixing process that's going on at the moment because uh, uh, it keeps getting these various different errors popping up. He fixes one, then another one pops up, and then fixes that, and then another one pops up. He's been through testing multiple times now, and it keeps failing, you know, uh, almost immediately uh, due to various different sort of texture and uh, material errors. So uh, they've actually got someone from the Giants team helping him go through that at the moment to sort of decode those uh, error messages and figure out exactly what it is that's... Uh, going wrong and then try and fix those issues as quick as possible and so that means hopefully that'll speed up how quickly we get that map coming to console it is definitely going to come bill is still working on it and he's going to continue to work on it until it's ready uh, to go live but uh, it's obviously a slow laborious process trying to fix errors that you have no idea are going to pop up until they actually pop up so the help from Giants is definitely appreciated. That'll get that mod that uh, mod map out to us, uh, hopefully a fair bit quicker. And uh, you never know, next week, if we're lucky, we could see the West Coast. Uh, it may be a little bit longer before we see it, but uh, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that we may see it next week. So uh, time will tell. But there you go, that's you all caught up on mod news. I'm going to uh, continue working this field, and then we'll move on to another field, and uh, probably field 25, our new one and get that one harvested next. We are almost done on this field. You can see, uh, looks like it's starting to get a little bit cloudy, a little bit overcast. Maybe that rain is on the way. You can also see that we now have uh, a second icon in the weather display. We have that little uh, sunshine symbol, which indicates, again, that the rain is probably on its way. Uh, we may get this field finished before the rain comes. I've got a horrible feeling that uh, that little strip, <laughs> we're not going to get it all done before the rain comes. We've been caught out like this before on uh, on at least one of our farms where the weather has stopped us from just finishing that last little bit. And it's definitely, as you can see, getting a lot sort of uh, smokier on the map. It's getting a little bit more sort of overcast uh, with each passing moment. I'm hoping we can actually get this last little bit done, but uh, that rain is now imminent. So uh, it's going to call a halt to our harvesting as soon as it hits. Really hope we can get this last little strip done. Oops, we're now blocking the combine. That's not good. There we go. So while we're just finishing off this last little piece of the field, uh, the testing thread has been updated for today. And uh, there's not a lot currently listed in there. We've got uh, six items. A couple have dropped. Uh, farming Legend has disappeared again. Oh, no, it's not Farming Legend, sorry. Arctic Logging has disappeared from the testing thread. So uh, 
not 100% certain if that means it's passed or it's failed. Uh, there is a separate thread I'm keeping an eye on which details uh, mods that have passed. And I'm keeping an eye on that. Nothing's been updated on that just yet. Uh, obviously, nothing has gone live on the Mod Hub yet either. I've checked that too. But uh, Arctic Logging has disappeared from the thread, so it looks as though something has happened to that. It's finished testing. It's either passed or failed. We're waiting to find out on that. Uh, still in testing at the moment is an update to the BSM truck, the uh, 850 Legend, uh, which is the hooklift variant. Uh, the transport container 4000 slash H is still in there. Uh, the BioBelts ITR semi trailer is in for an update. Uh, the Art Mechanic uh, 21 ITR, which I believe is the animal trailer, is also in there for an update. Uh, Farming Legend is still in testing, and Old Shed is still in testing. So uh, there's a few different things still being worked on. I'm really looking forward to Farming Legend. I've seen some screenshots of that map and it does look like it could be quite a lot of fun to play on. I'm definitely going to be doing a series on that when it comes out. Uh, at least I say definitely. I'm, I'm very, very sure that I'm going to be doing uh, a series on that. We'll have to obviously wait and see what it eventually does look like and how it runs. But, uh, you know, touch wood, I should definitely be doing a series on that one. As we go and drop our grain off. And there's the rain. So we just got done in time. Look at that. How's that for timing? Just about got our grain you know, uh, to the silo before the rain came. It's just spitting a little bit now. So let's quickly get this in. Into our silos. We're going to need to uh, move our combine over to another field and get that one ready. Uh, we'll go to field 25 next. We'll see there's going to be a little bit of a delay now before we can actually get started on that because of this rain. So uh, hopefully we won't end up taking too long on our delay here and we can get back to harvesting. There we go. Let's just try and drag these through that little gap there. And uh, <coughs> we'll just park up here for a second. Uh, I need to go back to the combine. Let's fold that co combine up and uh, pipe in we're going to put the header back on the trailer and get positioned on the next field so the rain has stopped it cost us around about five hours let's uh, get everything unfolded turned on let's get underway on field 25 our brand new soybean field that we purchased you know uh, just you know, just an episode or two ago. So, uh, given the fact that we're going to lose 10% of the yield and we're not using the entire field as well, we have got that thin border that goes all the way around the edge. Uh, I wonder how much of this field will actually get done before we need to empty our combine. I suppose we'll see how much when we get to the end of this pass. It's entirely possible that we could do... I don't know if we could do the whole thing. We could certainly do, I would say, at least half of the field before we need to empty the combine. I would say probably two passes is... Oh, sorry, two unloads, and then this field will be done. So uh, it should be quite quick in that respect. It should get through it reasonably quickly. And then from there, we take a look at our fields. Uh, we have uh, soybean on super field five, and then after that, we have sunflowers on fields two and three. Uh, so that's the remaining crops that we have and the remaining fields that we need to work. But uh, while uh, our combine is running away, uh, I've uh, had a couple of people asking me, do I actually intend on getting real farm sim? Uh, initially, I was uh, curious about it, but was going to hold back simply because I just wasn't convinced about it. Um, having read the details, a little bit more details about the career mode I'm definitely uh, very eager to give it a try I am going to be getting a copy uh, hopefully it's not going to be horrendously expensive so uh, if it's not I may well pick a copy up at launch uh, if not I may hold off for a couple of weeks just to see how the game reviews before I pick it up but I will definitely be picking up a copy at some point and uh, running it on the uh, channel I am hoping as I say to pick it up at launch just waiting for those last few extra details to f just tip me over the uh, 
uh, took me over the uncertainty edge where I'm currently a little bit hesitant to uh, fully committing to buying the game but uh, at some point that will definitely make an appearance on the channel and hopefully uh, it'll be around launch time I am also very kind of curious about pure farming 18 I mean we know that's not coming out until March next year uh, so we've got plenty of time to go on that one I'm very wary on just how much I'll be able to do per sector on that one I know it's going to have lots of different uh, countries rather than sort of generic kind of maps like we have on farming sim 17 uh, which suggests to me as I as I said on uh, Tuesday's episode of American Outback uh, that you'll be limited as to what you can do based on the country that you're currently working in uh, which kind of worries me if there's no sort of open sandbox mode which is what I'm hoping I mean this is I consider this open sandbox mode we have the map we can plant whatever we want wherever we want uh, we can change the shape of the fields we can change the uh, the layout of the fields we can use whatever equipment we want you know um, there's no restrictions in that respect whereas I just have this nagging feeling that uh, you'll be very limited as to what you can do uh, on each country uh, so that uh, like I said you know vineyards and stuff will only be available in certain countries animals may only be available in certain countries crops may only be or certain crop types may only be available in certain countries there, there hasn't been any real clarification uh, from the pure farming 18 team about that yet so we're waiting to find out uh, whether that is definitely going to be the case or whether we'll have a nice open you know restriction free sandbox experience like this as part of the game so uh, keeping my fingers crossed on that one but uh, again it's a game I'm curious about and will probably feature on the channel at some point going forward uh, just whether or not I get it at launch or not is another matter well, as you can see we've done more than half the field before we need to do our first unload so uh, yeah, we only needed the one trailer to do this field here but we'll, we'll stay hooked up because the next field is also going to have soybean on it as well so uh, might as well we'll get this uh, this first unload done here the worker will then carry on finishing off the rest of the field for us and then we'll get everything packed up we'll head over there you can see our big big field of soybean over there that's next on our list of fields to do so uh, not too long we'll be cracking on with that one So we're on to the final strip of our uh, new field here, field 25. Figured we'd do this ourselves. Just uh, run up here nice and smoothly. And I've come to the decision that uh, this is actually going to be the last sort of uh, harvest that we do on this farm. Uh, we'll uh, look to start selling everything off. Over the next couple of episodes we won't be planting anymore after this one so uh, it's all going to be about now hanging on to our crops and uh, finding the right time to sell them and uh, really start to wind this farm down you know we are you know getting close to the release of uh, the west coast so it'd be quite nice to give this farm you know a break for a couple of weeks before we kick straight in on on the next map but uh, we're going to sell the actual uh, farm itself uh, to uh, a new owner as such so once we sell off the uh, the grain and the animals etc we'll see how much money we have and uh, we'll kind of factor that in a little bit when we go to the west coast so that we can uh, a buy our starting equipment and b also buy some separate fields as well because don't forget uh, we'll be actually running that on the Massey Manor map farm or map file when that comes out so uh, we will need some additional money so that we don't interfere with the uh, the massive uh, massy manor finances so the money that we're going to raise on this farm will kind of have a, a big effect on just how much land and equipment we can start fent farm with but it won't be the end of this map completely what i'm planning on doing is uh, in a couple of months time i'm going to keep playing on this myself as uh, turn it into a private farm and I'm going to uh, get rid of uh, some of the equipment that we have here obviously as we uh, we sell off Fent Farm and I'll take over as a, as a new farmer coming in and, uh, and we'll see 
you know, uh, a what happens, you know, uh, a what happened next kind of video in a couple of months' time as to, uh, you know, almost like a, a where are they now on, on Dramad to see uh, exactly what changes the new farmer that comes in has made to uh, to the way everything's laid out as, uh, as our Fent farm relocates to a, a new map. So I think that might be quite an interesting little feature. We might get one or two episodes out of that uh, a little later on down the line. But obviously it's going to be a little while before that kicks in. So, oops, I thought I was connected. And there we go. So let's get our combine over to uh, field five now. And then we can uh, start our harvest on that massive field of soybean over there. Uh, this is actually a really tight gate to get in and out of. So uh, I just about managed to get in without causing any issues. Let's see if I can get out without causing any issues as well. I have to swing tight. There we go. Just about made it through there. If there's any traffic coming, that would have been a problem, but we got through it nice and, uh, nice and straightforwardly. So, uh, yep, yeah, there we go. You can see our field is uh, just there in the distance as we crest this hill really steep hill first time i brought the combine up this hill before uh it slowed down to about eight miles an hour going up the hill you know uh picking up an extra mile or uh, mile an hour on the way down and there is uh, there's our next target field five we're going to swing wide a little bit so that we can uh, get in without clipping the, the fence posts there we go let's get the header dropped off just there Spin around and get connected. Oh, we hooked it. I was worried I might have hooked it. All right, let's see. There we go. I'm just about to drag it free. I'll have to reposition that uh, header trailer in just a moment. But, uh, let's get our uh, combine opened up. Again, we'll do ourselves a headland. So we have a bit more turning room. Uh, and I'm going to get a worker to do this one for us so that we can bring the uh, the tractor over as well. We've got about uh, two-thirds of the trailer full there. So we've still got uh, plenty of space for uh, another couple of empties. Oh, there we go, hitting the, uh, the fence posts because I'm not paying attention. It's a really tight turn. Struggle to get out of here, I think. Come on, we can make this. There we go. Yeah, very, very tight little uh, gate there. It's quite narrow, just about wide enough for the combine. And you know, with the one trailer, it's okay. But when you have two trailers hooked up like this, if you don't go in at the right angle, you're pretty much screwed every time. <laughs> so. Uh, a little clumsy and a little careless from me there, but uh, we're through. We're done, so uh, now we can get onto this field here. There we go. So let's just check the combine. Get to the end. We'll turn him and we'll uh, get him going along the uh, the top of the field. So give us a nice little turning area at the top end of this field here. And then we'll do the same going down the opposite side and then along the bottom. And then we'll start running up and down again. Uh, so let's move that header trailer out of the way. Let's uh, just give it a, a, little, a little twist. There we go. That's a bit better. Oh, and my controller's died. Got to keep remembering to make sure my controller is charged. <sighs> Standby controller is switched on, full power. There we go. I used to make all sorts of errors, you know, like constantly forgetting to set my timer. That's no longer an issue now. I just <laughs> I keep forgetting to make sure that my controller has charged. So. Uh, one of these days we'll have a completely you know error free series where I won't make silly mistakes like you know not setting the timer or 
you know, forgetting to make sure that the right microphone is switched on or, <laughs> or making sure that my controller actually has enough charge to get through the episode. One of these days it'll happen, but uh, for now and we're just resigned to the fact that you know I'll eliminate one mistake from my uh, from my setup and then you know immediately create another one. Oh well. So we'll get this uh, headland finished off and then we'll be up and down the fields and uh, getting our next soybean crop harvested. I think 10 o'clock was uh, being <laughs> overly uh, optimistic as a finish time. You can see already it's looking like it's going to be later than that. It's not even uh, we're about, what, halfway through this field, maybe? And uh, we still have, uh, you know, say the other half and all of the other field to go before we're done. And it's already 10 past nine. So it's not looking as though we're going to get done by 10-ish. I think maybe <laughs> maybe 11 o'clock, you know, somewhere between 11 and midnight is perhaps a more realistic kind of uh, figure as to where we're going to end up. We shouldn't need to do an unload. I'm, I'm guessing that uh, we'll have enough space in our trailers to be able to deal with both of these two fields, or at least the majority of both of these two fields before we need to do an unload. But it's going to be yeah, it's going to be close, I think. Let's see, we've done what nine thousand, a little over nine thousand, nine and a quarter, uh, since uh, the start of this field. That's about halfway done. We've got the rest of this field. I think it's slightly over halfway done, actually. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, and then we've got all of field two, so that should all fit into our forty-six thousand liter trailer capacity. Uh, but uh, yeah, still plenty of work left to do and the sun is almost gone completely. It's so almost done here with uh, field three. Uh, then we're just going to fold the header up, drive straight through to field two, unfold and uh, carry on. Finishing our harvest is now gone 10 o'clock at night. Very dark. See the stars out in the sky. But uh, still we have work to do. So uh, yeah, hopefully we can get done before midnight but uh, this is turning into a very very long day for our farmer here and there we go that is it so let's get the header folded and now we can uh, move through Immediately start unfolding the header again. Oops. And off we go. Just need to make sure I can empty him now. So here we go then, the final pieces, the final little strip of ground on our final harvest here on uh, Drumard for Fent Farm. 
just the last few seconds to go. As you can see, it's gone. <laughs> it's gone midnight. It's gone half past midnight. So it's been a very long day for our farmer here. Let's see, can I uh, judge this about right? There we go, look at that. And that's it. We are all done. No more harvesting. No more planting. No more crops. Fent Farm as a uh, as an arable business is now finished. So uh, that is uh, that is the end of all of our main work. You know, in the next part, you know, we will be sort of closing the farm down, selling off our livestock, and uh, you know, negotiating with the the new farmer who will be taking over you know, as to what equipment stays and what equipment goes. But uh, that's the uh, the end of our final harvest here on Fent Farm. So thanks for watching. I am Jim Bob, and I'll be back very soon.